Hello class! Today we are going to talk about the food plate. But first, let's watch Soraya try to decide what she should have for lunch today and if she remembers what the food plate is. What do you want on your lunch today, sweetie? I want a Nutella sandwich. That's it? Yep! I can just taste the yumminess. Who are you? I am your shoulder healthy angel child. But that's it. Do you remember a, a, um, what you learned yesterday in class about eating healthy and having a balanced diet? Oh yeah, what a Nutella sandwich healthy? It's good. What about the fruits, vegetables, meats, and dairy for lunch? Do you remember about the fruit plate or the food pyramid? What do you, can you remind me? My plate is a way to help you eat the right amount of foods each day. Eating the right amount helps you be healthier now and in the future. There are five food groups that we focus on. Fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. The focus should be on eating healthy food from each of these five food groups. The first step is to make sure half of what you eat each day is fruits and vegetables. The other half should be grains and proteins. Let's look and explore these food groups. Fruit. You can eat any fruit or drink any 100% fruit juice every day. Two second grade and third graders should be eating about one and a half cups of fruit every day. That may seem like a lot, but really it's very simple. That's about one, one small apple, or one cup of applesauce, or one banana, or 32 grapes, or eight strawberries. So you can eat any fruit every day. Vegetables. You can eat any vegetable as well. They can be cooked or fresh vegetables. Second and third graders should eat about two cups of vegetables every day to be healthy. They may, that may seem like a lot, but it really isn't either. That's about 12 carrots and a cup of, and one corn, or one tomato and a cup of peas. Now, let's look at protein. If you eat meat, seafood, beans, eggs, chicken, then you're eating protein. It's best to eat a variety of these foods to help you be healthy. Second and third graders should eat about four and a half ounces of proteins each day. Now that is kind of hard to, to measure out. However, that's about two eggs or two tablespoons of peanut butter um, and 24 nuts. Grains. Any food made from wheat, rice, oats is called the grain product. If you eat bread, pasta, oatmeal, tortillas, oatmeal cookies, or pancakes, you're eating food with grains. So second and third graders should eat about three ounces of grains each day. That is about one bagel, or four slices of bread for breakfast, or a muffin, or three pancakes, or one packet of oatmeal. So eating any of these things will let you have your grain for each for your day. Dairy. Anything made of milk is part of the dairy group. So cream cheese, milk, butter, ice cream, and cheese are anything that you can eat to fulfill this dairy product. Second and third graders should have about two and a half cups of dairy each day. This looks like five slices of cheese or two cups of yogurt and maybe two bowls of cereal. And last but not least are the great the fats. Last but not least are the fats. These foods should be eat, eaten sparingly and not eaten every day because it's not very healthy for your body. That's a lot of food but it looks delicious. See, Sarai, there's a ton of foods in the food pyramid and they can all be good. Is there anything else you'd like in your lunch, sweetie? Yes, can you put in mm, an apple, carrot sticks, and a juice box into my lunch, please? I want to eat healthy. I want to eat healthy today. That's great! <laughs> So remember kids, use a food plate to make good daily choices.